Before we move on, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so that you can be notified every time I put up a new video. And if you'd like, and you find this content worthwhile, please give it a thumbs up. Hi and welcome to another episode of Prophecy in Real Time. Today we're going to continue our discussion on coronavirus in prophecy. And it will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity, and it will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and it will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man in the golden wedge of Ophir. And now go to, I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will break, take away the hedge thereof, and it shall be eaten up, and break down the wall thereof, and it shall be trodden down. And I will lay it waste, and it shall not be pruned nor digged, but there shall come up briars and thorns. I will also command the clouds that there rain no rain upon it. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah his pleasant plant. And he looked for judgment, but behold oppression, for righteousness, but behold a cry. Woe unto them that join house to house, that lay field to field, till there be no place, that they may be placed alone in the midst of the earth. In mine ears, said the Lord of hosts, of truth many houses shall be left desolate, even great and fair, without inhabitant. Yea, ten acres of vineyard shall yield one bath, and the seed of an homer shall yield an ephah. We can see that in verse 7, the plants are referring to people. In verse 10, so many people will die that there will only be the equivalent of one bath of wine produced in a ten acres in ten acres of vineyard. So what is a bath? Well if you convert bath to US gallons, it would be about five point eight gallons. So if you can imagine ten acres of wine vineyard, grape vineyard, that only makes about five eight five point eight gallons of wine. What does that mean though? Well, that's about a 207 to 1 ratio. Instead of 207 people, only one will remain living after the devastation of the plagues, pestilence, and disasters. I believe that this COVID-19 is the beginning domino of things that will set things in motion. It can't be undone the real beginning of the trials and tribulation. In one month, this is New York State, and the average of death for per month based on CDC statistics for all other types of death, including homicide, cancer, and everything. That very tall tower there is how many people have died in one month from COVID-19. This is that same information on a pie chart. One month of death of COVID-19 compared to the average of one month of death of all other cases in New York State. You can see that very large orange section is COVID-19. How many people have died there in the last four weeks? Many people want to compare it to the flu, but whatever the death rate, we know that none of us are immune. Number six there, the green little slice, that's the flu average per month. COVID-19 in one month compared with all other causes of death combined in New York State, an average of month. So this big orange section is how many people have died from COVID-19 in the last four weeks. And the blue represents the average of all other cases of death in New York State. So when the scripture says, woe unto them that join house to house, that there be no place that they can be alone. The next time you social distance, just think about Isaiah told us a long time ago. Thank you for joining us, and I hope to see you next time. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.